This is the all new 2017 Honda Ridgeline. And look, its profile doesn't look like the Pizza Hut logo anymore. Honda wanted to appeal to a more traditional truck buyer, so it's ditched the flying buttresses connecting the body to the bed. And here we have a rather handsome looking mid-size light duty pickup truck. But Honda didn't just stop at the design. It's also imbued this new Ridgeline with a lot of new creature comforts, technology, and features that make it appealing to younger buyers and youthful seven days of the week, not just on the weekend. The Ridgeline's also got this unique in-bed trunk that's got enough space to hold up to an 82 liter cooler or two sets of golf clubs. Or you can just fill the whole thing up with ice and put your drinks right on in here because there's a drain plug right in the bottom. At the rear of the Ridgeline is a dual action tailgate that folds down like a conventional truck to accommodate long items, but also swings out like a door to give you easy access to the tailgate area. Speaking of tailgating, the Ridgeline can be had with a 400 watt inverter out back that's powerful enough to juice a large flat screen TV. It's also available with the industry's first integrated tailgate audio system, which uses four exciters mounted to the backs of the tailgate panels to transform those composite panels into speakers. It's completely sealed from the environment and sounds pretty good, and yeah, we checked. It doesn't work when the vehicle's moving. The truck bed audio system is controlled by Honda's largest 8-inch infotainment system, which is based on Android software and features navigation by Garmin. If you like to listen to your music inside of the car, it's got an 8-speaker 540-watt audio system, which sounds pretty good. The system can be connected to the web using the Honda Link app, but I think most drivers are going to want to take advantage of the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay connectivity to connect to the web for things like navigation, and audio streaming. For those interested in driver aid, the Ridgeline is also available with the Honda Sensing suite of advanced driver aid features with things like forward collision warning, adaptive cruise control, and a lane keeping assist feature that will actually intervene with the steering. The cab meets the bed at a 90 degree angle, but despite there being a new cut line here, it is still a unibody under here. That single piece construction is what gives the Ridgeline its rigid body. Inside, we've got a class-leading 109 cubic feet of interior space, which you can really take advantage of with cool features like these fold-up seats that allow you to accommodate tall or bulky items. Now, it's no secret that the Honda Ridgeline shares both platform and powertrain with Honda's Pilot SUV. Both vehicles share a 3.5-liter V6 engine that makes 280 horsepower and 262 pound-feet of torque. In this case, that power reaches the wheel via a six-speed automatic transmission. No, the Pilot's nine-speed automatic will not be available here. From there, it goes to Honda's iVTM all-wheel drive system, which features torque vectoring on the rear end to help with cornering and lane changing. Honda's also making the Ridgeline available with a front-wheel drive configuration. That's a first for the model for this year. Now, despite sharing its platform with the Pilot, Honda tells us that over 50% of the Ridgeline suspension components have been re-engineered for the truck to make it better for doing trucky things. It's more robust. Despite that, the Ridgeline still feels very car-like on the road. The suspension is doing a pretty good job of soaking up the bumps. Honda's put a lot of money in making sure that this vehicle rides quietly, and the steering actually feels pretty good around most turns. 280 horsepower does not exactly result in neck snapping acceleration for this surprisingly heavy light duty truck, but Honda tells us the 0 to 60 time is better than the Chevy Colorado or Toyota Tacoma. However, the V6 engine does offer really good torque and the Ridgeline is capable of towing up to 5,000 pounds behind it, which is really good if you have a small boat. Plus, the all-wheel drive system and suspension should be good for some light, but surprisingly capable off-roading, which we're about to get a taste of right now. I was able to test the Ridgeline in muddy, wet, and sandy conditions, and found it to be just as capable of medium-duty off-roading as a Tacoma in Colorado. However, on a dirt road handling course, the stiffer unibody of the Ridgeline allowed its suspension to simply work better than its ladder frame cohorts, allowing it to be smoother and quicker, especially over bumpy and washboard surfaces. The takeaway is that the Honda is just as capable, but of the three, it's the most comfortable and the one I'd pick if I had to spend an entire day driving. 
The 2017 Honda Ridgeline starts at around $31,000 and tops out at just over $42 for something like the fully loaded RTLE model. With a blend of features that make it an excellent daily driver and off-road chops that are pretty good and stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the competition, I think this 2017 Honda Ridgeline is an excellent second act from Honda.